Hey girlfriends, thank you for tuning into Tishby TV. In this video, I'm going to share with you how I made these gorgeous glitter letters. Stay tuned. I purchased my large paper mache letters from Hobby Lobby in the paper crafting section and these are 16 inches tall. I purchased three of them and I'm going to use two different colors to bling them out. I'm using two different color glitters, two different color spray paints, and I'm going to seal it with Mod Podge and a paintbrush. So I just took my letter outdoors and I used foam board that I purchased from a dollar store and I just spray painted this letter all over. And I'm not going to glitterize the entire letter, so I definitely want to make sure that the sides of the letter are painted very well. The paper mache tends to not just accept one coat, so you may have to go over it at least two times, okay? And when I get it all moisturized at the top, I am going to go heavy with the glitter. I'm not trying to save any of it. I really want this thing to sparkle. After the paint has dried, I give this letter a light coat of Mod Podge and I just lightly coat the entire letter with this. Now, don't worry that it looks white and gluey. I promise you, once it dries, you will not see it at all. I'll show you in just a little bit. I wanted to show you what the letters look like moments after the Mod Podge had been applied. Don't freak out. It looks this way, but just you have to be patient and you have to let this sealant dry and it's going to dry clear and you're going to be so happy because glitter won't be falling everywhere. Now I'm noticing here that I have some of the pink glitter mixed in with the green. Now for this project, I like it that way, but I would suggest if you're going to use two different color paints, please use two different paint brushes. Y'all, I really love how these turned out. And as promised, I told you you would not be able to see the glue once it dried. You just have to be patient. And I mean, now I can hold these and glitter won't be everywhere. So definitely seal these with Mod Podge so that you can keep them for a little bit and not have to continue to reapply glitter. Girlfriends, if you like this video and this super easy project, please give this video a thumbs up and let me know what you think down in the comment area. And if you haven't already, I'd love for you to subscribe to the Tish B TV channel. Until next time, design and live the life that you love. Bye.